Hi, thanks for clicking on the video. I'm Will. It's Inktober. If you don't know about Inktober, it's a drawing tradition that's been going on since 2009. Uh, the person who started it every year releases a list of prompts and every day artists make a new drawing and post that drawing. I'm more than a week late, uh, so clearly I'm not locking onto it with a full commitment, but I'm gonna do stuff uh, and I'll do more. I did day four, so that's this. The prompt is freeze. I really had no idea what I was doing. I just kind of followed the shapes and turned them into whatever felt right. Uh, so a concept of freeze, I kind of worked into it as I was making it and sort of half retconned it. So the idea that I can kind of retcon in here is the death of our son. There's other stuff that we'll have to overcome first or stuff that'll wipe us out. So the sun going out isn't really a threat, but let's call it creative license. So when the sun starts to run out of fuel in like five, six billion years, it's going to expand. It'll expand out and it's going to swallow the orbit of Mercury, probably the orbit of Venus, and maybe the orbit of Earth. And then with not much fuel, there's not much mass, so the outer layers can just kind of float away in the solar wind. And then when the nuclear furnace in the center gets weak enough, it's not pushing out anymore, and then everything just falls in and explodes. Uh, and this is the supernova. So our sun will leave a pulsar, which is bright and madly radioactive, but not very warm. And if we're not gone by then, we're extinct. Of course, there's a bunch of other barriers that we need to solve before that, and we'll be on a load of other stars before ours goes out. But in this scenario, we flee or we freeze. So Inktober 4th, freeze. I made this video also to support the St. John Wise Strong Communities Fund. This is a charity fund that helps local families. There's fundraising checkpoints to reach, so I think these are just examples of what could be done with the funds raised and not specifically what they would be used for. At $25, there's more support for youth programs like Youth Leadership and Girls in Motion. At $50, an older adult can gain access to a program to help them connect with others, help them stay socially active. Uh, at 100 after school program fees could be reduced for a family who needs it. At $250, a full Y membership could be provided to a family who needs it. At $500, up to five kids could receive an eight week group swimming lesson. Uh, this is really cool. And there's a lot of kids who just need a leg up. Check the description for a link where you can donate. Every little bit helps. Um, since seeing these kinds of tiers of who can be helped for how much money and so on, uh, I think it'd be really cool to break 500 bucks. So please share this. I'll be making more videos this month and I wanna make a long running habit of it. And hopefully I may even get better at it. Uh, I'll make videos about art, poetry, culture, shit talking. Maybe I'll make videos of sculpting in VR or gaming. Uh, I don't know.
but hit subscribe if you want to see whether I improve or just crash and burn. That's it. Thanks for watching. Go donate. Help kids.